Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and on this video tutorial I show you how to use the color checker passport and what it, the profile is doing to your image and the raw converter. Yeah, here I just want to show you how this color checker looks. At the beginning of your session you're taking a picture with the color checker in it. You can have it standing on something or you can have your subject holding it in front of him. It's important to have the same light on the color checker that you have on your subject then. And it's the same with a landscape image. Just try to match the angle of view of your camera and all the light that you have with the color checker and then you have very good image quality and color quality. Yeah, here we have the color checker passport program and it's very important that you're using DNG images for creating your profile. It's not working with raw images. This program needs to have DNG files and you can create your DNG files by importing your images or this special image from the passport by using Camera Raw or Lightroom. There you can convert the images to DNG files and then you're just going to File, Add Image and you choose the location where you save your images for this passport. I use this one for this video. It's, a, it's an example image of a passport showing up with all the squares and the dots in the corners. You can adjust the dots to the corners of the passport. If it's off, this is just a little bit off so it's not that important but in some cases it can happen that it's quite off and you try to center all the squares inside of the color dodges here and then you're just telling the program create profile and you choose after that the location um, at standard it's open the location of the camera raw folder for the camera profiles and you're done. You're just starting your raw converter and you will find all these profiles in the section for camera calibration. And here I already have my camera raw open and in this camera calibration section you can choose the profile for your camera and as I told you here I have a landscape image. This is an image with a filter in front of the lens just to make a long, longer exposure and you're right now seeing the image with some settings that I did for this special image but right now only with the camera profile from Adobe as a standard and if you choose this profile that I had for this image it's a filter 3 you can see the difference here we again have the Adobe standard and the profile for this image and this makes a big difference for your images, especially if you're working with flash in studio or landscape, reflectors, diffusers. It's quite important to have this color checker just to make sure that your color quality is optimal and it's especially the color is right for your image. Yeah, that's how to use the color checker passport and how to 
choose the camera profile inside of Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, that's the same. There you also have the section for camera calibration. It looks very similar to this Adobe Camera Raw and then you're just choosing the profile that you have and you can see I have some profiles here. Just choose a good name for your profile that you can remember. Okay, I was on this condition. I need to choose this one or you're choosing a date for your image or something like that. That's good to you. Yeah, so have fun with your color checker passport. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.